Welcome to the advanced email video tutorial for Brute Force Evo 2. Let's take a look and see the advanced email feature. Here is the button that you click for advanced email settings. This is where you enter your advanced email settings. Let's take a moment to discuss why you would use advanced email. First of all, advanced email is blindingly fast. In literally two blinks of an eye, Evo is able to check the incoming email to confirm it. This saves you time, and time is freedom. Another reason to use advanced email is that it lets you avoid using Gmail and Yahoo email services. No more disabling of your email accounts, since you control your own email account. Later I will discuss catch-all email accounts, and why they provide additional benefits. But first, we will discuss using a normal, typical POP3 email account, like you would get from your, internet service provider. Online email service. Or, with your web hosting account. On the advanced email settings screen, in the first field, enter your email address. This will have been provided to you by your hosting provider. If you control your own domains, you may have the ability to create your own email addresses. I will now use an example, where I have my own domain and can create email accounts on it. This is my domain control panel. Yours may be different. I want to create a new email address to use. I enter a name. Then generate a password. It is important that you take note of your email address and password, because you will need to enter it into your advanced email settings. Create the email account. For my advanced email settings, I will need four items. 1. The email address that I just created. 2. The incoming, POP3, mail server. 3. The username for that POP3 mail server. 4. The password that I just created. Your situation may be different. If you do not know what your email settings are then please contact your provider. I will now enter the settings into Evo. First, the email address that you created is entered. Then, you enter the POP3 server. This is the incoming mail server name. This is different for some hosts, so be sure to check with your hosting provider. Ask them for your POP3 incoming mail server name. Next you see the POP3 port. The default port is already entered, and in most cases you can leave this, as it is. Then comes the POP3 user. This is, where you enter the username for the account. Lastly, you enter the POP3 password. This is the password you created earlier. Now you click the OK button. You have completed setting up your advanced email. You will now find that, when you run Evo, anytime it checks to confirm the emails, it will happen so fast that you will probably not see it happening. But you can rest assured Evo knows what it is doing. You can create a new email address each time you need to use the advanced email option. Simply repeat the steps we have just covered, but this time use a different name. It is important that you use a different name so that your email address is not rejected by sites, because it already exists in their system. By using a different name you will have a different email address each time. But there is a way to make things even easier. It is called a catch-all email address. Luckily, it usually comes, as a default, whenever you get a new hosting account. In particular, cPanel hosting accounts. It does not come with some accounts, unfortunately, but you can still use the steps we covered previously, to make use of the advanced email feature. Let us go back to my cPanel account and I will show you how an catch-all email address works. Here you can see the default email account that was created when this cPanel hosting account was made. The default email account usually is used to catch mail that is unrooted. 
This means, that no matter who the email is addressed to, it will still be sent to the default email account. So, if someone sent an email to admin at your domain.com, it will be sent to the default account. If someone sends an email to webmaster at your domain.com, it will be sent to your default account. It does not matter what is in the front of the email address, the email will be sent to your default account. The default email account's username and password is the same as your cPanel login. Now let us go put our catch-all email information into the advanced settings of Evo2. This is where the reason for using a catch-all email comes into play. For your email address, you can use almost anything you want. Try not to make it too long, so that it will be easily accepted. You can make it up on the fly, because it will be sent to your default account. So every time you run Evo, you will not have to log into your hosting and create a brand new email. Simply enter your email settings like you did before, but there is one difference when using a catch-all email address. When entering the POP3 user, username, you simply enter your default cPanel name. You do not need to add the plus domain.com to the end of it. Just the name alone will suffice. Again, your situation may be different. If so, use this information as a guide. If you do not know what your email settings are then please contact your provider. If you need additional help, please visit support.bruteforceseo.com or send an email to support at bruteforceseo.com. The Evo2 team wishes to thank you for joining us at Brute Force SEO. If you think Evo2 rocks your socks off now, just wait until you see the future.